Hello, St. John's. It's Chris Roussel. And Ben Kogel. Today is Monday, June 27th, 2022. That's right. I heard something that was really weird on the news yesterday. That six months from yesterday will be the day after Christmas. Was the day after Christmas? Would, will be. Will be the day after Will be the day after Christmas. Oh, oh, coming up. I think up. if you go backwards, it's the same as forwards, yeah. too. So, yeah. Huh. So. We're, yeah. We're halfway to Christmas. Your Christmas shopping must begin. <laughs> we have a couple of other holidays between now and then, including yeah. the one coming up this uh, upcoming weekend. Uh, actually, it's on Monday of next week, so our office will be closed for the 4th of July holiday. And because of that, I would like to offer a prayer from the Book of Common Prayer for the nation. Let us pray. Lord God Almighty, you have made all the peoples of the earth for your glory to serve you in freedom and in peace. Give to, the, give to the people of our country a zeal for justice and the strength of forbearance that we may use our liberty in accordance with your gracious will through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I don't know if you guys can hear it on the video, but our noon bell toll is going off right now, <laughs> and it's awesome. Every day at yeah. noon, it's just it's just beautiful. So proud of it. Um, we have quite a few things coming up. Uh, the most immediate thing, I think, is July 6th. That's right. Next week, a week from when you're seeing this video, if you watch it on Wednesday, uh, we'll be having our youth spaghetti supper. Uh, the young people will be preparing a meal for us. We're asking folks to RSVP in advance so we can gauge about how much food to prepare. And it will be a free will offering. So bring, bring your whole family and, and get them fed together that night here in McGill Hall. Um, and speaking of whether or not they watch the video on Wednesdays, mm -hmm. there are some savvy folks in our parish who have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Ah. So when we actually upload it on Mondays, they're able to see it immediately. That's right. So if you want to get a jump on the news, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. It also help, helps us uh, build uh, on our social media platforms uh, to get strengthened, I guess. I don't know. Get more reach. Have more yeah, reach. Have yeah. more reach. Anyway. Uh, and then we have, beginning July 10th, that's a Sunday, mm -hmm. we're going to do a scripture study of some type during the coffee hour? It's right, so uh, we've been doing sort of uh, sporadic uh, lessons and thoughts from me and from uh, Father Chris here, uh, and so we're gonna plan that a little bit more. We're uh, advertising, asking you all to participate um, in a study on the book of Colossians. The church reads Colossians during July, during the summer usually of year C, which is the year we're in in the lectionary. Um, so we're gonna take some extra time, not just the little bit that it gets in the sermon and in the Sunday service, but some extra time uh, to read this book together and to pray about it and think about it and learn from it. So year C, C is for Colossians? Uh, C is for C. C is for three. C is for cookie, says the <laughs> cookie monster. <laughs> That's right. We'll be studying Colossians uh, starting July 10th is when it first appears in the lectionary. So we'll have our normal half hour of fellowship and then a half hour of uh, formation on this book. And, and a reminder that this is Zoom only during the summertime. We're not gathering in person, giving everybody a short commute to their sofa Computer. or kitchen table. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Uh, in this room in McGill Hall on July 14th, Mary Bice has coordinated and set up our annual blood drive. If you go to our website or follow the link in this email that is attached to this video, then you can register and um, give the gift of life, right? That's Thursday, July 14th. On Sunday, July 17th, we have a couple of things coming up the, the, on that day. The first thing is after the 1030 service, we will be blessing the Sioux Bridges Memorial Garden and blessing and thanking uh, the Albertsons for the Tom Albertson Memorial fence that was donated in Tom's memory. Um, we hope that you will have a nice crowd. Pray for good weather, please, because we would really like to be out there in the garden uh, when we do this. So that's immediately after the 1030 service. Then later that evening, I'm calling it five-ish. So it's not exactly five. It's not exactly 530. It's five-ish here at McGill. 
We're going to start doing an evening service. We're going to try it out and see how it goes. And this uh, idea that, that has been placed on my heart anyway is that uh, it's a very loose, loosely organized thing. We, we want to have a worship experience that's so different than what we have to offer on Sunday mornings. So that means come dressed casually, right? Yeah. That means we're going to be sitting in a circle in order to get some of this stuff done. And that uh, I don't even know if I'm going to wear this clergy collar thing for that service. We'll, we'll see. I'll have to see how the spirit moves me. Um, we're going to ask people as they come in who'd like to read. If, if we have musicians out there who play musical instruments, bring them. Whatever you want to play. I, you know, Bridge Over Troubled Water. That's what you know. You don't know a church song. Okay, we can sing that, right? So I, I hope you get the idea. And again, um, my newsletter article that comes out later this week uh, on July 1st, uh, I hope that you'll read the article because my article addresses what the vision for this uh, these Sunday evening services are going to look like. But it's not Eucharist every Sunday, right? No, not every Sunday. So first what, Sunday will be. You'll yeah, be yeah. reading that on July seventeenth. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then is it? Are we alternating doing every other? Not quite. Uh, it's a bit tricky to do that because if we did it every other, then it would always be one of us that does it because that's how we rotate our preaching. It mm -hmm. would always be. Uh, on Christmas Sundays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Or mine. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted, so the, whoever does the preaching and the morning services mm -hmm. is gonna do the service in the evening. Yes. Uh, that way, the person who isn't preaching in the morning doesn't have to craft a sermon for later that evening. Right. And, and we're, we're gonna probably approach it a little differently from each other, which is pretty exciting. Um, I may have more of a conversation with, I won't read a sermon per se, but have more of a conversation and we'll have some of the things from my morning sermon to raise to the consciousness of everyone. Um, really, we want to catch folks who are out of town on the weekends and are willing to make a commitment to come in, uh, come home in the evening to catch this service and to be in community with us. We, I'm, I'm hoping that it'll be very youth-oriented and youth-led, but it's not exclusively for the youth. It's for anyone in our parish who would like to experience a different worship-type service. So whenever there's, it's not a Eucharist, then we're going to have a lay-led evening prayer. That's right. right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we've already put it on our calendars, mm -hmm. and we're going to publish that each month of what they can expect on which day. That's right. Or maybe not. <laughs> Maybe we'll just let you come in and you'll find out when you enter yeah. what kind of service, if it's evening prayer or uh, Eucharist. So, yeah. anything else that I'm missing about that? No, I don't think so. Uh, it'll be McGill Hall, yep. so yep. you can come in through these doors right here yep. that go directly into McGill Hall or come in through the commons and come right up the stairs or elevator. And I put in my article that, you know, if everybody gets here and you guys say, hey, it's a beautiful day, can we do this outside? Okay, let's drag everything, everybody grab a chair or bring your own chair and we'll move outside. And you guys will figure out. <laughs> I was just thinking about a shady spot and I was, I was thinking the old drive-through uh, window at the bank. <laughs> that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? That would be. Uh, rounding out our month of July, you know, we always say it's quiet and slow in the church in the summer and then we start reading the things that are going on and it's not. Um, we are going to have uh, a guest with us that day. Um, if you recall, I had decided before COVID, and then COVID put a squash to it, that anytime we have a fifth Sunday, we're going to do a combined service. Um, when we've done that, parishioners seem to really embrace the idea and like it. And so anytime there's a fifth Sunday, it's going to be a youth-oriented service with the youth doing the readings, the ushering, all the other things. Um, and... It'll be at 9.45, this is July 31st. Um, we are gonna have folks from Boys Homer, Virginia here, mm -hmm. right? And so we're preparing to do something for them. Do you wanna speak to our outreach plan? Sure, yeah, as you can see, we have some items here that have already been donated since yesterday, since right. Sunday. Uh, um, blue blazer, white dress shirt, and khakis. That's right, and we're looking for things in all sizes, boy sizes, men's sizes, for uh, these young men. We're going to put up an angel tree type thing, Christmas in July. It'll be in the Commons starting sometime uh, this, this week. Yeah. By, this, by this Sunday, by the yeah. 3rd. Yeah. 
The third's the Sunday, right? The yeah. The third is the Sunday, yeah. Uh, starting by the third, and you can take an ornament uh, with a specific boy's information on it, sizes, etc., and get them their outfit. Or if you just have your own things gently used, or you want to buy something new around, or your kids have things they've grown out of, you can bring all that stuff too. And even if it doesn't go fit with a specific ornament, Boys Home can still use it because as you can imagine, those the boys are growing. They are, they are. And and they're as young as ten and as old as eighteen. So Thank you. you know you've got you've got some grown guys who are pretty big, pretty mm -hmm. tall. So uh, don't feel like it's just little bitty boys. Um, it's it's almost you know, manhood is right there. So. Right. So again, the ask is blue blazers, khaki pants, white dress shirts, belts, etc. Yep, those kinds of things. That's right. All right, well, one final thing. This is so far ahead, but I just want you to put it on your calendar. September, did I just say September? You did. What are we, we're still in June. Barely. And I'm talking about, yeah, barely still in June. I'm talking about September 25th. Ann Vest has graciously opened her farm to us to have our annual parish picnic, which has been on hiatus because of the pandemic. Try to say that twice fast, three times fast. <laughs> annual parish picnic, annual parish picnic, yep, yep. annual parish picnic. On, hi on hiatus <laughs> for the pandemic. On hiatus yeah, for the pandemic. Yeah, 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 you gotta add all, the... <laughs> gotta add all that together. Uh, so September 25th, it's a Sunday. More details to come about registration and um, we're always open to receiving volunteers to help. Uh, the crew that has done it in the past has stepped up and said that they will take up their uh, their reins and their charge as they've done in the past, but we can always use many hands make light work. So be on the lookout for volunteer opportunities there. Sounds good. All right, is that it? That's it for tonight. All Today. right, today. You too could watch this video 48 hours in advance of your friends. All right. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. All right. Oh, and also make sure you thumb, thumb up things we post. And if you add a comment, it's really, really helpful to get it out there. Absolutely. So, thank you. Thanks so much. All right.